Hey everyone, welcome to my studio. This week on Putting It Together, I want to fill in some more of the greenery and glue these fence pieces in. Maybe even finish. Don't make promises you can't keep. This week, I want to finish up making Chester and get some good progress on the background. And I want to finish prepping these substrates. I prepped almost half of them, but you can see there that this was the smaller half. So I need to prep these with the same way I did here by wrapping the edges and putting thin set. And then I need to start transferring the designs. That's these little toenails are a little bit persnickety. I'm trimming Chester's nails here. But I want to get them right so it doesn't look like some funny thing on the end of his foot. And I am simplifying them, you know, in the in my photo reference they have a little bit of a highlight on them. They're a little shiny, but I'm not doing that in this mosaic. So now I have to fit in the darker fur around those. Mm -hmm. Chester then I'm ready to tackle the background this is the photo the photo reference I've been using but the client has asked that Chester be sitting in a very uh, nice green uh, grassy lawn and I'm going to put the lawn in but I just want to point out that there is a shadow on this side of the paw and the body and around here so I am going to use some darker greens in there so that he doesn't look like he's floating and underneath the paw and back here will be a lot brighter that's it. pieces of white fence and I'm using big pieces because I want your eye to have a place to rest amidst all of this color. The neutral fence is the perfect place and it becomes a strong point in this composition. Now I am going to be using pieces to fill in bits of the fence and those lines that the, the interstices between the pieces of glass are almost going to look like branches coming out. And I do have a few branches I'll be putting in here. This is the brown that I talked about earlier, but I'm gonna fit them around my fence as I go and the flowers. This is starting to feel a little bit overwhelming getting all of it finished. And so I need a more methodical method and a way to make it easier is to break it down into quadrants. Now I'm putting this quadrant a little bit on the high side because I mostly have filled in at the bottom. But this makes it more achievable to me. I can focus on one area at a time and finish it. And of course the area under the tape is covered, but I'll be moving the tape. That's it.
confession time. I came to look at this last night before I went to bed and I got sucked into it and started adding a lot of these little bits so that this section is almost done. Now, I could keep going forever and ever adding little tiny bits and just never end. So I do have to sort of make a call at some point and say I'm finished. I think the bottom part of this section is done, but there might be a few spots up here where I will add some more pieces. But this, this one's almost done and then I'll lift the tape and move. One way to determine if it's done or not is to put it at an angle and see if there's anything glaringly obvious that needs to be filled in. It looks pretty full from an angle. So it's only when you go straight on that you'll see some more of those holes. And they're probably difficult to see because I've got that paper underneath, but I can see them quite clearly in person. Anyway, I'm gonna add just a few more. This is how far I got. I think what made a huge difference is adding the highlight on the top of the fence and that shadow, just that little bit of geometry and structure in it gives it so much more depth, I think. And then what I've decided, I, I was trying to figure out what color green I would put behind the flowers. And I think this muted green, it is nice. It's the same uh, hue, but it's just got more white added. Muted down just a little bit so it, it recedes into the distance, I think. It makes it will make those sunflowers pop. So right now it's a mix behind there and it doesn't really seem to make much difference. But once I put that lighter green back there, I think all those pieces will pop. And this side will look way different with the lighter behind it. And I'll have to add a few leaves when I get over there. So I did put a little, you know, I did the fence over here, but I didn't finish. This side I didn't quite finish either, but I did get pretty far. So I think next week I'll be wrapping it up. Today I mixed up some thin set and prepped four more substrate. It's been a few hours and it is dry to the touch, but it's not set completely and it's the perfect time to come in with a rasp and file it so that it is smooth. The smoother you can get it, the easier it will be for general public to work on it. So that's what I'm shooting for.
used up just a little bit of thin set and I'm coming back in if there's any spaces like around these washers that need to be filled in. So then I'll have to come back and smooth out just a few of these little areas. I don't want any hollow space underneath that webbing. I also check the edge and see if there's anything on the edge that needs an extra bit of inset. And I can always come back and sand it off if it's too much. That's it. The edging on this one, for instance, has a few little holes in the thin set. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more right there. There's another hole right here. It's just important to have a nice coat of thin set over that mesh to adhere. Because we're, we're putting mosaic on the edges of these, putting tiles on the edges. told me he wants me to finish it up so I'm going to work on this grass until I'm done here we go
I'm about to make a new pendant and I bought this special bezel on Etsy. It's uh, sterling silver plated, which is similar to what I use. And the whole reason I got it is because I have some of these really neat little Marini chips that are made to look like ladybugs. I know it's kind of hard to see. It won't focus on it because it's so small. It's the same on both sides because it's a rod that it was just broken. And I'm going to put that in the middle with some yellow. What's really cool is I have purchased yellow epoxy sculpt in this kit and I'll be mixing yellow. And so the part that's clear on this ladybug will have yellow behind it, and then the rest will be yellow filati. That's it. That's putting it together. Thanks for watching. See you next time.